Hi, my name is Jared Fry, and I'm here today representing the Delta Omega chapter of Beta Alpha Psi at Utah State University. Today, I'm going to be presenting on the best practices topic of impact. But first off, I wanted to take just a few seconds to thank you as a reviewer for reviewing these presentations. With coronavirus the last few months, I understand how complex things may have gotten. So I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to review these presentations. So today I'm going to be talking about a few different things regarding our chapter's impact at Utah State University. First, I want to talk about why making impact is important. Then I'm going to talk about how we hope to make an impact, how we plan to make an impact, and then the events we planned that will make those impacts on the community and on our members. Last, I want to share our total benefit that we gave the community and our members, and then talk about how we will continue to make this impact moving forward. So first, regarding our, the importance of impact. As an organization, it's so often that we think of impact as strictly being how we impact our community, how we impact the people we're around. But in reality, impact is a combination of the two. How can we impact our members in a positive way? And how can we impact the community in a positive way? It's the melding of these two that create true impact. At the beginning of the year, when planning our events, we considered three different things in regards to impact. First, the difference we make to our members' lives. Second, the stakeholders in the events. And third, the public and member perception of our events. With difference, we wanted our members to feel that they are getting some form of impact from their involvement in Beta Alpha Psi. They're able to contribute to the community. The events are helping them with their career, and they're making lasting connections that will help them throughout the rest of their careers. Second, with stakeholders, we want our members to feel connected to these events. We want them to have a reason to attend, and we want them to feel that they're truly contributing to something substantial when attending our events. And last, with perception, we want the meetings that we hold and the events that we take on to provide a difference in the community. We want to provide substantial good and actually provide some difference to the community. With this, we had to consider how to make a difference. We broke it down into three different methods of making a difference. One was service. This could be done by providing service to your students. This is often done through VITA or service to the community. This could be through community service projects. Second, we wanted to provide unique opportunities to our members. We wanted to, have, to provide them with the opportunity for them to interact with each other, to learn skills that they wouldn't be able to learn anywhere else. And then last, special skills. We wanted to isolate a key topic to cover during one of our professional meetings that would benefit our members the most. So with this, we planned three different events around each of those topics. So for service, we planned Back Gives Back. For unique opportunities, we planned a Women in Accounting Summit. And for special skills, we planned a mental health meeting. For Back Gives Back, we partnered with Little Lambs of Utah. For those who aren't aware, Little Lambs of Utah is a charity organization that is focused on providing goods to children in foster homes. These can be diapers, school supplies, or even just general goods that can help them ease in their trans uh, transition from the traditional family unit to a foster family unit. For this service event, we prepared these kits and uh, prepared over 1,000 diapers for foster children and prepared over 200 school kits for children that are returning to school. Next, for our Women in Accounting meeting, we recognize that accounting can typically be seen as a male, predominantly male profession. We noticed that a lot of our female accounting students were feeling isolated in the majors, so we wanted to provide them with an opportunity to see that success is possible when you're a female in accounting. So to do this, we invited all accounting students who are female within the major, and we invited 30 female professionals around the state of Utah to attend this meeting. At the meeting, there were three topics covered, envision, engage, and empower. 
And there was a progressive networking luncheon where female attendees would rotate around with the professionals and have the opportunity to ask them questions regarding their career, what is it like being a mother when you're in public accounting, and ask them overall about their experience in accounting in general. For our last mental health meeting, we, wanted, we noticed that in today's environment, it is very common for accountants to feel overwhelmed with their workload, with the hours during the busy season. So we wanted to provide a way for our members to get an opportunity to learn about the difficulties of handling mental health and learn proper techniques for handling mental health issues. So I reached out to a mental health professional in our uh, CAPS office on campus and had them create a customized presentation that was focused on accounting. One thing that I thought was incredibly cool that this mental health professional did was that she related the body to a financial institution. And she said that in your body, you have a budget that you can use to uh, work, to use activities outside of your regular work schedule, and just to entertain life. So I like that she really put it into words that we as accountants can understand. And a lot of students really understood what was going on and it was very relatable for our members. After these events were done, we received really good, in, really good responses from our members. And they said that they wanted to have these events continue on moving forward. Because of this, we created an annual partnership with Little Lambs where we will annually host our service event again and again. And then in the future, we are hoping to provide inventory accounting services for them to help them organize their goods a little better. And then next, we're going to continue to host our professional development meetings. This is going to be held once a semester, and we'll, we'll focus on specific topics that are important to the accounting industry as a whole. So in total, I just wanted to talk about once again how when you're planning these events, we felt that impact could be seen in so many different ways, both in the community and in our members. So with that, that is the reason that we planned our service event for Bath Gives Bath, and that is the reason that we plan these annual professional meetings where students can gain insights into skills that they really need for the professional career. Thank you. Once again, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to review these presentations. Thanks.